weeks ago I was in Murmansk, the largest city above the Arctic Circle and if you remember we saw this huge statue of a soldier Alyosha overlooking the Murmansk Bay over the Barents Sea and that was pretty epic. What if I told you that there is a statue in southern Russia of a woman symbolizing the Soviet Union holding a sword which is just about the size of the entire Alyosha monument in Murmansk. It's called the Rodinamat, it's one of the tallest monuments in the world and it was built in memory of one of the fiercest battles in history, in the place formerly known as Stalingrad. So I decided to set off on a journey across the desert of southern Russia in a quest to see one of the most iconic monuments in the world with my own eyes. The statue of the motherland is located on the outskirts of modern day Volgograd, so I had to jump on a plane and fly south, but not directly to Volgograd as that would have been too easy. I flew to Astrakhan instead, not far from the border with Kazakhstan and right in the middle of a desertic area, in a climate belt which is found only here and not anywhere else in Russia. Oh, hello southern Russia! It's not that warm to be fair. It's only plus two degrees Celsius. Здравствуйте, до центра города едете? Ну все, тогда туда вот. So why did I come here to Astrakhan? Of course I came here to get closer to the uh, Motherland Coast statue in Volgograd which is going to be my final destination for this trip but I picked Astrakhan in particular because it's here that the longest river in Europe, the Volga, flows into the Caspian Sea after flowing through so many cities across central Russia it's right here in Astrakhan that the Volga ends Look at the beautiful apartment blocks of Astrakhan in southern Russia. Hello, doggy. Oh wow, there's a giant frozen pond interrupting the street walk. Tver, Yaroslavl, Volgograd, Kazan, Nizhny Novgorod. These are just some of the many cities in Russia that the Volga, the longest river in Europe, flows through before arriving here in Astrakhan and before flowing into the Caspian Sea. Volgograd, my final destination, is just a few hundred kilometers upstream. However, I won't be moving directly from Astrakhan to Volgograd and that is because by bus it takes around 8 or 9 hours and that's way too long for me. So what I'm doing instead, I'll be moving west towards Elista which is the capital of the only Buddhist Republic in the whole of Europe, Kalmykia. I will break down the trip in this way, it's going to take around 4 hours from Astrakhan to Elista and I'll be doing that today. And then tomorrow I will be continuing from Elista to Volgograd. So from what I've seen so far, this city Astrakhan doesn't look that different from other cities in Russia at much northern latitudes. You have the same architecture, same uh, street planning, same people, although you might see... Oh, здравствуйте, ребята. А как здесь? Здесь нормально. Меня не только. Давай я тебе... Не-не-не, просто я просто говорю... Панаца, что значит? Я цыган, ты итальянец, русский. Да. Да. Это нация. Это нация. А, моя нация итальянец. Итальянец. Да, да, да. Ты давно здесь в Астрахане? Нет. Ты где ты сам живешь? Живу. А где родился? Есть город, покажи мне. Вот там или что? Венеция, вот. Венеция, знаете Венеция. Венеция? Да. У тебя нет фото из Венеции? Вот а тебе нравится. духи надо хорошие? Что? Мужские духи. Духи что да. это? Наркотики? The Lenin statue of Astrakhan. In front of the Lenin statue here in Astrakhan, you also see a bull, probably inspired by the one on Wall Street. Astrakhan, the New York 
of Russia. I wonder why it is that when I travel to Russian cities like this I always see the worst part which is the one that I just showed you with the old and abandoned buildings where people live and then when it comes to politicians and city administration you have these fancy modern buildings like this one Now look at this, this is the rear entrance to the fancy palace and right behind it you can find this All right, let's see if this is the way to the Kremlin All Right, I should be able to make my way into the Kremlin from here Здравствуйте А лавка сувенирная будет? Внутри? Сувениры Сувенир, ну, сувенир у центрального входа. Сейчас прямо и потом вот этот церковь, цирк не боюсь, налево, центральный вход, там и все. Спасибо большое. Пожалуйста. However short my visit to Astrakhan might be, I still need my souvenir, right? Let me tell you, I've seen Kremlins in Russia, not far from Moscow, that are much uglier than this one. This one is beautiful. Nice churches, nice park right here. Well done, Astrakhan. Really well done. I believe these few hours in Astrakhan have been giving me some sort of mixed feelings. I mean, the city has some nice sights, don't get me wrong. But the only interactions that I was able to have were the ones with the two dodgy guys who were really insisting on trying to hold and touch my camera, probably because they wanted to steal it from me. So I believe my time is now up here in Astrakhan. And yeah, it's time to catch the bus to Elista, the only Buddhist place in Europe. This is what I call a bus station. Look at the cool destinations that you can ride a bus to from Astrakhan, Volgograd, Vladikavkaz, Voronezh, mostly in the area, but then you have Moscow, which is a 20 hour ride to the Russian capital, Sivastopol in Crimea, Stavropol again in the middle of the Caucasian mountains, Sochi on the Black Sea. <laughs> this is my ticket to Elista, departing from platform 3 in around half an hour, so I'll be waiting here. <laughs> The bus took me across the Volga before swiftly making its way out of Astrakhan into the open desert. What followed was infinite steps, offering a landscape which never changed for the entire duration of the trip to Elista, which lasted for around 5 hours. We went through the middle of nowhere, only occasionally passing by gas stations and small Kalmyk settlements, which were most of the times abandoned. We stopped by the side of the road just so we can enjoy the landscape, really. Wow! So at last, after five hours on the bus, I finally arrived here in Elista. Man, that was quite a ride. As soon as I got to the bus station, I called a taxi to take me to my hotel, which is right here. And I have to say, although it's dark, of course, I was able to see uh, a few Buddhist temples around the city while I was in the taxi. And I'm definitely excited to visit the city, Elista, the capital of Kalmykia, tomorrow. But yeah, anyway, this is my hotel, Gassinica Elista, Hotel Elista, so let's go, let's go and check in and check out the hotel. So 
So yeah, it looks like it's a pretty small room, but at the same time, it's also a pretty cheap room. I'm gonna tell you guys how much I paid in a minute. But anyway, this is my bed. I even get a mini freeze with a small TV. And uh, yeah, wardrobe, let's check out the bathroom. With this nice yellow door. And the bathroom is not even that bad. I've definitely stayed at worse accommodations, so I'm definitely happy with what I got. And if you guys are interested for this, I paid the equivalent of 12 pounds. 1,200 rubles, that's what I paid for it. And uh, yeah, it does look cozy. Let's check out the view. Although, of course, it's dark, but I can imagine that in the morning, the view will be very nice over the town of Elista. Oh, I'm so happy to finally be here. All right, I just had a shower and what can I say? I don't know, I just feel like today was definitely far from being one of my best days, really. I mean, Astrakhan was, uh, I mean, it was what it was. Definitely not my favorite city in Russia, but anyway. And the second half of the day, I just spent it on that bus, looking out of the window and seeing never-ending flat steps. Oh, wow. If I close my eyes, I can still see myself on that bus. Wow. But at least I'm here. At least the capital of Kalmykia, the only Buddhist republic in Europe. So I'm definitely looking forward to going out tomorrow and exploring this part of Russia. So I definitely hope that you guys will join me tomorrow as well and i believe it's now time for me to wrap up this video so cheers thank you bye